archaeological site associated with the Indus Valley civilization. It represents the ruins of an ancient city of the Harappan civilization that was inhabited over a period of 1200 years from 3000 BCE through 1800 BCE. Kalibangan town of Rajasthan was the headquarter of agriculture revolution in Harappan civilization. The remains of farm here provide proof of this. The copper residue found here proves that the copper tools must have been manufactured here and these tools might have been used in agriculture. So inscriptions, sculptures, earthenware, pottery, coins and seals in that Pili Bagan area at the border of Hanumangat and Suratgarh was discovered and thus a great site of Indus Valley civilization Kalibangan was discovered. Thus the town planning of Indus Valley civilization was well organized, well engineered, well planned and efficient. It is a wonderful reflection of the governing power of ruling elite, the intelligence of the engineers and the craftsmanship of the craftsmen. with the next topic the economic life in Harappan civilization people of Indus Valley civilization were engaged in various economic activities like agriculture livestock rearing trade silk industry etc in agriculture they produce crops like wheat barley peas sesams mustard etc they use plows to plow the land they reared animals like cows buffaloes goats and bullocks they were engaged in internal as well as the international trade. Historians believed that the cotton cloth produced here used to reach Mesopotamia and Egypt via Mesopotamia. In addition of this, people living here were also involved in profession like poetry, metalwork, bead making, sculpture, etc. So the economy of Indus Valley civilization was based upon agriculture and trade. They also made pottery, weaving. The people were also aware of gold, silver, copper and bronze. They used to trade some of those economics for dealing or for clothes and for the particular object. And they were the great agriculturists. Moving ahead with the next topic, social life of Harappan civilization. The main occupation of the people of Indus Valley were agriculture and livestock rearing. People of this time used to have wheat, barley, millet, peas, sesams, date palms, etc. in their diet. Due to cattle rearing, their diet consisted of milk and milk products also. A fishing hook has been found in the remnants of this civilization, so their food must have included fish also. We get information regarding attire of the people of that time on the basis of sculptures found from the Indus Valley civilization. Men and women here wore two clothes. They wore clothes similar to dhoti and on their waist. And in the upper part they wrapped a short cloth which came down from the shoulder. They mainly used cotton clothes. They were also familiar with woolen clothes as the needles made of metal and ivory have been found. We can assume that they wore stitched clothes. Although most of the people wore unstitched clothes, people of this time wore ornaments like necklace, ring in finger, hand bracelets were worn by women as well as men. Women wore jewellery like bangles, earrings, waist belt, anklets, etc. These ornaments were made of gold, silver and precious stones. People of Indus Valley civilization made utensils of earthenware, copper, bronze, etc. These included utensils like mug, bowl, earthen mug, metallic pot, saucer, casserole, etc. People of Indus Valley civilization made special type of toys for their children which included bird shaped whistle, rattlers, 
कैरेज